Hey, it's me, Jeff. How's everyone doing? Welcome to this video. Today we're going to be talking about the Lenovo IdeaPad 330S and how it does for programming. And so this is a Black Friday pickup or a pre-Black Friday pickup. I actually picked it up um, over the weekend, the weekend before Black Friday. Uh, it was on a pretty good sale at Walmart. Um, I think I paid $329 for it, uh, which is a pretty good deal. I got free next day shipping with it. So that made it even better. Originally, I was going to go with one of the, the new Inspiron uh, 15 5000s or 7000s or whatever it was. Um, but Dell decided that they were going to ship it to a, the wrong address. And so this was the second time it had happened. And um, I, I typically only give about two chances and then I'm done. And so uh, I just went ahead and canceled that. Saw this on Slick Deals, checked it out on Walmart and thought, you know what? I'll give it a try. And so here it is. Um, this is what it looks like on the outside. Okay, so it's pretty sleek, pretty nice looking. It's platinum. It is a, a metal construction. Um, it's not very heavy. I think it's around three pounds. It's 15.6 inches. Let's talk about the specs. So it's got 15.6 inch uh, full HD, so 1080p screen. Um, it's TM panel, so it's not IPS or anything. It is extremely bright though. Um, however, like I said, it's not IPS. So it is a TM panel or something maybe a little bit cheaper there in between. It has a Ryzen 5 2500U in it. So that's um, four cores, eight threads. It's got eight gigs of DDR4. Um, it's pretty low clocked DDR4. I think it's around 2333 or 2400 megahertz. Uh, nothing fast. And so that's an APU. Um, it has Vega graphics in it, um, Vega 11. It's a low power chip. It's, it's not going to rock any worlds, you know. Uh, it's got 256 gig uh, SSD in it. I believe it's NVMe. I may be wrong, um, but it does have an SSD in it, and that's pretty much as far as specs go. I mean, it's it's pretty. I want to say it's bare, but it's not bare. Um, I've had it for five days now, I believe, and so I've been I've been working on it, installing some stuff, um, just playing around, seeing seeing what I thought about it, and so. We're going to switch over. We're going to look at some, like, some, I would call it B-roll, but I don't know how to do B-roll footage. But we're going to look at it, and I'm going to explain some of the exterior design and stuff. And then we're going to actually look at OBS on the laptop and see how well it responds. And um, then we'll meet back up here, and we will talk about my final conclusion. Here's the outside of the Lenovo iDipad 330S. As you can see, it's a beautiful uh, platinum color. It is a metal chassis on the, the top where the hinge. Um, if we flip it over here and look at it, you can see it is also uh, metal on the bottom. Got some vents here. Um, speakers on each side. It's quite light. I think it weighs about three pounds. Um, ports, as far as ports goes, on the left side of it, you've got the power, HDMI, USB. Um, I do believe this is a USB 3. And then you've got USB-C, headphone jack, power indicator. On the other side, you've got a SD card reader and another USB, and then a power um, or Kensington lock, actually. And so if we open it up, we'll take a look at the inside, at the screen and everything. Here we have the, the laptop <clears throat> opened and turned on. Uh, it's got a 1080p screen. It's 15.6 inches. Um, as you can see, the, the, the platinum color theme follows in throughout the whole thing. It's got a um, touchpad on the left here. It's, it's not centered. It's offset, so it's offset to the left. Let me pick that up. As you can see. Um, the keyboard, it's, it's stiff. There's not a whole, I mean, there's a little bit of flex. Um, it's not like an Alienware or anything where it's completely still and there's no flex at all. There is a little bit of flex. You have to push pretty hard though um, to get it to flex. Uh, the keyboard is, is, is okay. Uh, it's not the best. I mean, it, it feels decent. You know, it, it feels decent. Um, however, it's not the best. I get tripped up a little bit when using the keyboard. Um, it, it's not, listen, it's, it's not super great, which I don't expect it to be on a laptop of this price. However, it is solid build construction. Um, the screen is, is actually pretty good for what it is. 
Um, it's not super, it's actually turned down like it is super bright. It'll about blind you whenever you first turn it on. Um, so I turn the turn the the brightness way down on it. That's how I prefer it. And then this is on battery as well. So it's still pretty bright. Um, it is a TEM panel, 60 hertz, uh, 1920 by 1080. So let's shoot back um, to the talking head, and then we're going to look at some OBS footage. Here we are in the home screen of the Lenovo IdeaPad 330S. Um, I'm using OBS to capture this. I'm also using the internal microphone on the laptop as well as the, the video camera just to make it a little bit tougher to let you see what the video camera looks like and also what the internal mic sounds like on the laptop. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to start up Visual Studio 2019. Um, this is the, the free version, not the professional or enterprise. Um, we're going to build some code. Uh, it's not like a super, you know, super great coding going on here. Um, I'm actually just now learning C Sharp. I am traditionally a full stack dev and Java dev. And so um, I'm just going to open up a program. We're going to see how long it takes to boot. That way you can get an idea of how long it takes for Visual Studio to open. Um, we're going to see how long it takes to build it. And we're going to see how the whole process handles as far as programming goes. So I'm going to go down here. And I'm going to search for Visual Studio. Here we go. So you can see it's Visual Studio 2019. All right, so boom. So now we can, uh, you know, either use uh, GitHub or DevOps or something like that for Azure, um, local folder, all that stuff over there. But we're just going to go ahead. This is called Console App 2. It's listen. It's it's super great. This program that I wrote, super simple. I used used all the stuff, all the stuff in it. And so we're just going to wait for the code to show up. It's going to prepare the solution. Now, mind you, this is on battery. Okay, this is on battery. I'm gonna go down here and. It should tell us um, it's best performance that's on battery. Now, it's not going to have as much performance on battery as what it is plugged in. So it is faster when it's plugged in. But right now, we are on battery. You know, I figure a lot of people will probably use it on battery. So as you can see, we've got, you know, 45 lines of code. Listen, it's really simple. There's just uh, some console write lines, some console read lines. Got a while statement, a couple if statement, or one if statement. Um, that's about it. So we're going to go ahead and build it. See how it does. Okay, it should. All right, there we go. So, looks like it's getting ready to open up the console app. It's built it. So, it's asking if I have any amiibo, amiibos. If so, how many do I have, or what do I have? So, I'm just going to put in link. I've got link. How many? I've got like five links. Um, do you want to continue? I can hit yes. Um, do you have any amiibos? If so, what do you have? I can put like Zelda. Um, how many do you have? We'll say two, then I'll hit no. All right, we're done. Um, the window's closed. Okay, so let's close it out and let's see if IntelliJ is any faster with opening up. I don't think I have anything written in IntelliJ currently. I haven't imported any of my projects. But we'll just see how long it takes to open. IntelliJ used to kill uh, our computers whenever I worked for a certain employer. It took forever to load up. And they do the same here. This is um, Ultimate, so this is the paid version of IntelliJ. I do. I haven't even started it. I haven't even opened it before. So... But strange because I opened it the other day. But it is what it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just... There we go. We'll skip it and set default. Girl. Let me sign into this real quick lock. Okay, so I've signed in, and we're going to continue going forward with IntelliJ.
it is taking a little bit longer than uh, Visual Studio, which I kind of expect because the Ultimate Edition or version, not edition, but Ultimate version of IntelliJ does have a lot of um, a lot of additions to it over what the free version of Visual Studio would have. Um, you know, there's a lot more set up so that you can do enterprise applications or Java EE and uh, stuff like that. So it does take a little bit longer. All right, so there we are. We can just go ahead and create a new project. We'll create one really quick. Okay, so we'll just hit next. So this is going to be a Java. Um, it can be a command line app again. Uh, we'll call it um, Lenovo or something. So we'll go ahead and open it up. I don't need your tips. Close. All right, so here we are. We're we're in it. We can do some um, some coding now. So you know we could uh, you know install some dependencies. We could go ahead and set up something like Maven. Um, go ahead and set up Spring or whatever. We would have chose Spring from the project if that's what we were going to do. Um, it's going to say accept and a bunch of stuff. So that's it from this. So now we're going to shoot back over to the talking head and we're going to give the final conclusion. So here we are back to the talking head portion of this video. And so we've got to look at the outside or the exterior of the Lenovo. And then we've got to look on OBS and see how it does in software and uh, talk about it a little bit. And so now we're gonna do a final conclusion and, and what I think about um, this laptop, how I feel and, and who it's actually uh, geared towards. And so in my position, I've used a lot of computers, like a lot. I've used a lot of different laptops, a lot of different desktops, a lot of different configurations for development. You know, I've worked in places to where um, we had the old Dell business machines and we had to connect to a VM, um, you know, on the, on the local server, and it was just atrocious to try and write code with. It was slow. It you get lag. You'd be trying to type something, and you would get lag. You know, and I've even developed on Macs. You know, whether it's an Air or a Pro, um, a Mac Mini, and now I do most of my development work on um, a Ryzen. Threadripper 2950X with 32 gigs of RAM. A uh, little bit overkill for what I do, uh, or a lot of overkill, however you look at it, but I've used a varying degree of hardware. And so when we look at this system, now this system was on sale. I think it originally retails for $499 or $599, um, one of the two. I got it for $329 with free overnight shipping uh, from Walmart. And so this is just something that I was going to pick up. It's cheap. Uh, it's something I can take on the road with me or whenever my wife is watching TV, I can sit on the couch and, and do a little bit of development, just tinker around really. And it's cheap so I can just do whatever I want to pretty much on it. Um, you know, it's probably going to be me experimenting and doing things that I wouldn't do on my day to day driver because I don't want my PC to go down. Cause as you know, uh, in our line of work, whether you're a software engineer or, um, an IT or something, and when your computer goes down, then you go down. Your work stops at that point. And so this is just something that I can just tool around with, as they say, and pretty much do whatever I want to on it and try and go a little bit crazy. And so at $329, I think it's a steal. Um, I really do. It's, it's metal construction, so it's not flimsy plastic. Um, it's got a great screen, I thought, for $330. Um, could it be faster? Yeah, it could be faster. Um, it's not the fastest thing in the world. It's not going to set any land speed records. However, it does do quite well, I think, um, once you get stuff rolling. Now, you got to take into consideration whenever I was doing the test to open um, IntelliJ and Visual Studio, I was also using OBS and recording and capturing three different sources 
to the same drive that IntelliJ and Visual Studio were opening off of. And so that's going to slow it down a little bit. It's really not that slow. Um, whenever you have it plugged in and it's using its max power, you put it on best performance and you're not running OBS. It's actually uh, pretty quick. And so uh, taking everything into consideration what it is, um, at $330, I think it's a great deal. Even at $499, I probably wouldn't shake my head at it. I might look for something else. But at that price point, it's really hard to find um, something that's got 256 gig SSD in it, especially if this is NVMe. I can't remember. It probably isn't. Um, but as long as it's M.2 or something, you know, it's not that bad. It's, it's thin. It's not super thick. It's not heavy. Uh, it's all metal construction. It's got a nice hinge on it, nice screen. Uh, even at $4.99, I think it's a pretty good bargain. And so... I do feel that this is a great machine if you're looking for something on Black Friday to pick up, uh, to tinker around with, and you've got $330, I'd say go for it. I'd say buy it, have some fun with it, um, you know, install all sorts of crazy stuff, do whatever you can, brick the system, it doesn't matter at that point, uh, then you've got something. I think this also is a good option for any college student. Um, whether they are studying for CIS or computer science or if they're just getting some other degree. Um, if you need a computer and you're a broke college kid and you need a nice laptop that's not going to break your back, hey, this is a steal. You know, I would, I would definitely pick this up. Um, is it as nice as a MacBook Air? No, of course not. It's also like one-third or one-fourth of the price. Um, and so when you take all of that, everything that we've looked at, you really can't beat it. I mean, you can't beat the price of this at this um, this price point. You can't beat the value of it. I would pick this over one of the Dells. Um, my main concerns about it are the, the keyboard. The keyboard's not very good. Um, it's okay. I mean, you can get around it. It's okay. It's not the best in the world. Also, uh, the trackpad is atrocious. It is the worst trackpad in the history of trackpads. It is in the most awkward position, which typically uh, causes you to right-click on things when you're not trying to right-click or um, to mistype. And I think if the trackpad was centered instead of where it is, uh, that would actually fix a lot of the issues that I have with the keyboard. Um, it's got a great screen. Uh, like I said, well, it's not great. I mean, like I said. Um, but I would definitely pick it up. If you're in the market this Black Friday and this is still on sale, and you need a $350 laptop that you want to do some good development work on that's not going to break your back and you know it's going to work and it's going to have a nice screen and be pretty quick, I say go for the Lenovo 330S. It is a stellar deal and it has my stamp of approval for doing software development work on. Like I said, I've been using the same for like five days learning C Sharp and so it's been a blast doing it. I really enjoy this laptop. I have no regrets about buying it. And um, if you enjoyed this video and you like it and you want to see more, hey, leave a like, leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video. Tell me if you think, hey man, this video sucks. Let me know. If you think, you know what guy, it's a pretty good video. Yeah, there's some stuff you need to work on. Here's what you need to work on. Let me know. If you think it's a great video and you're going to go out and buy Lenovo 330S, let me know. Subscribe for more content coming up. We're, I'm going to be doing some pretty cool stuff. I've got another Black Friday special video coming up. Uh, we're going to be building a desktop. We're going to be running Linux on it. I haven't decided what flavor of Linux we're going to run, but we're going to be building the, the, the desktop, being installing Linux on it, and going over the software. And we're going to be setting up our dev environment. And we're going to go all through that, all through all of that on video. And so that's going to be fun. Um, we're going to be still looking at some ways. Um, to help you with phone interviews, to help you land the software engineering job that you need, um, what you need to learn, what you need to know, things like that, how you need to dress, along with some other crazy stuff as well. Uh, I got a lot of big plans for the channel. So if you want to stay tuned for all of that stuff, leave uh, subscribe. And I really would like to hear your comments. Y'all have a great day.